Hello! This video will be about working out. Let's make it. My intent for this video is to inspire you people to take control of your life and to start exercising and to show you that yes, exercise is capable of changing your body for the better. I'm not perfect, neither are you. Nobody is perfect, so when we set these goals for ourselves to work out every day, or for example, what I'm doing is the uh, clothing exercise challenges, I'm doing the 2021 hourglass challenge. There will be days that you want to give up and that you want to quit. And I, I have those days myself and I've been having them throughout this entire challenge that I started, but I'm still choosing to not give up and keep going. Even if I took a break, even if I took a day off or two, two days off where I was not supposed to take them off, I still, still decide to get up and keep going. So this is what I'm hoping this video will do for you, is to inspire you to get yourself moving, get your ass moving. <laughs> and get in shape. Of course, we can strive to achieve those perfect bodies that we see on Instagram, on YouTube. A lot of those times people Photoshop those images and they're very unrealistic expectations. So we have to understand and just think about why am I doing this? Is it to achieve that unattainable level of perfection and to make my body look like those pictures? Or is it because I love myself, I love every cell of my body and I want the best for myself? That should be the best mind mindset to have around exercise, not criticizing yourself about how long it takes you to get to where you want to be because everybody's journey is going to be different. Everybody's bodies are different, everybody's bodies will look different throughout the exercise journey and getting in shape. Everybody will have different results but nonetheless the results will be there and you just have to understand that arriving to a better appearance and better physical shape it's gonna take time. It's not going to be overnight, it's not going to be in a week. Well, you will see some results, but of course, you need to keep going to see even more results. So don't be so hard on yourself if you fall off the track. Many times I fell off the track and honestly what inspired me to get back into exercising more regularly than before. Back when I was with my ex-boyfriend, I was not putting priority on my health. I was focusing more on my relationship with him and how we need to spend time together and to make it work and stuff like that. So I wasn't prioritizing myself. So now I realize that uh, now that I'm single and um, after the breakup, I realize that I'm gonna put myself as a priority and I want to keep myself there because when we are in a relationship, we usually put ourselves not on the highest priority, but we should be our own highest priority. We should be taking care of ourselves and making ourselves the number one that we deserve to be for ourselves, for our own happiness and well-being, not putting someone else's happiness and well-being above our own. I believe that only when we do that will we actually attract the right person into our life where we won't feel like we need that person to be happy because we'll be already happy and independent and perfect, complete and whole on our own. We won't need someone's validation or approval, we're gonna give it to ourselves and that's when we're gonna attract more healthier relationships into our lives. So I'm going to film myself working out. It is a challenge, I will show you on my phone. Currently, I am on day 20. So, okay, let's get into this exercise. First, what I'm going to do is the warm up. I do the optional warm ups and cool downs. They really help with getting my body more into wanting to move. You know, like warm ups are really important because right now I feel like I feel like I'm really sedentary and I don't want to move around. But if I do the warm up, I'll be like, yes, I'm ready to move. Let's go. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I 
use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless So this workout is uh, abs two weeks. We're gonna work on those. Get closer. There's no guarantees because everyone's different. Your core. Take it nice and slow, guys, and just go at your own pace. It's all about progressing over time. Go 
just going to the We're almost there guys, you can do it! It's okay to bend your knees a little. Then touch your feet four times and repeat. Keep going guys, we are almost there. Congratulations, it's a celebration. And I'm recording this as a conclusion to the workout video. This is already fast forward in the future. I started doing a new exercise challenge video which is called the uh, slim thigh challenge 25 day currently i'm on day 14 it's been about 40 days since i've been working out and i can say yes definitely i've been seeing some results especially on the scale like i've lost some weight well, let's say i used to be somewhere between 137 and 139 pounds and now I'm 134 pounds so it's great and not only that but um, I noticed that my abs are definitely more noticeable now and my legs they look more toned and I did lose some weight uh, not some weight I lost some centimeters or inches off of my calves which was my goal it was great. I actually didn't expect to have such good results, but it's proof that these exercise challenges do work. The results do come. It's just the thing is with consistency, you have to remain consistent to keep your results. It's not like a permanent fix, but that makes sense because exercise shouldn't be something you just do to get it over with it should be something that you enjoy as well in my opinion i enjoy clothing's exercise challenges so i do them i enjoy the variety every day there's a new exercise session as for what's been going on in my life well actually i've just gotten covid well i'm actually already negative but that's what I've been having this past week and I've been in self-isolation. I'm lucky because my symptoms were very mild, but I still tried to work out. But of course, I try to see how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling very bad, then I skip the workout that day. So yeah, I wasn't too hard on myself and didn't force myself to work out when, I, of course, I wasn't feeling well. But yeah, the key is just to keep going. I will attach my before and after photos these exercises are really fun let me know if you want to see me review any more exercise challenges i'll keep doing them anyway i want to start the lean arms challenge next i think my arms could use some work anytime i complete a challenge i'm like okay what's next i did the hourglass challenge already now i'm doing the slim thigh and next i want to do the arms I am glad that I am doing this for myself. Yeah, exercise is just so great. You won't regret it. You definitely should start it as well. Hello, hello. This is a follow-up to <laughs> my exercise video. This is uh, about five months after I recorded my first part of the workouts was back in December last year. So right now it's May 2022. I stuck with working out, so I thought I'll record another video follow up after what I was recording last year. So you can see the difference in my body, not just on pictures, but also in person. 
like in video <laughs> so you can see the difference I definitely lost some weight since uh, the last time I recorded that video about 10 pounds actually more like 11 now 11 pounds and it's only been five months and to be honest I haven't even been working out super like consistently I've been doing it at least twice a week maybe like on on a good week I do four times five times but because right now I'm very busy with work, I stay over time very often. Some days I don't exercise. There's been a few changes in my life right now. I just got a new PC, so for sure I will start uploading more videos now because previously I was not able to edit videos on my laptop because I was just not able to crop anything, it would just freeze and I was not able to play back my video. But right now, now that I have my PC and I have absolutely no issues with editing whatsoever, now, finally, I can make videos just like I did when I was 15, 16, because back then I was making videos on my dad's computer. But then, yeah, things happened and then I couldn't use it anymore and for about five years I was just using my laptop, but now, finally, when I'm living alone, I bought my own PC and I can make videos now and edit them too, like, nicely. Also, another update, I got a second cat! I don't know, it's probably irrelevant right now, because I'm... Kitty! Why don't you meet my kitty? Okay, he doesn't want. Fine. He's too busy playing with my other cat, or fighting, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Advertisement break. Drink kombucha, it's good for you. It's good for your skin and digestion. Anyway. So yeah, so what has been happening with my workouts? So far right now I'm on workout challenge number four already. The one I'm doing right now, I'm still working out with Chloe Ting. So I just want to say a big thank you to her because of her workout challenges. I've been able to lose weight and get in shape because I'm I'm not really the type of person that goes to the gym and knows what she's doing so I don't even know what kind of workouts to do so someone like Chloe Ting who puts together workout challenges and has you work on different parts of your body every day like not not the same part of your body every day but different parts of your body then you can see the overall difference on your entire body like I've been I've done a an arms challenge, slim arms challenge, I've done slim thigh challenge, I've done 21 day hourglass body challenge and now I'm doing the 2021 move ember challenge and this one is a bit longer, it's actually 45 days long and I'm currently on day 25 of the workout so I'm gonna record myself working out and I'll let you guys see how my body has changed since the last time I recorded myself working out okay, let's get going I'm doing a warm-up first up at the same time, do it slow and controlled for the first exercise you can open And now we're doing an inch worm to show the tab. Start at the Keep your core engaged too. Side reaches. Legs, glutes, and hip flexors. A lot of you have tight wrists, so it's important. What's <laughs> 
you get there over time as you get more flexible. Okay, and this video is next workout will be booty and legs. You can do this workout with all the tanks, props, and crew necks. Oh, very kawaii, so check it. People are using weights, use weights that I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. That you're pushing off from your front heels mostly. I'm up again, I got tired eyes, need a couple blends. Yeah, true passion shines, and I'm through passing time. I choose second dimes, you smooth half the time. Oh, 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 oh. Down, make sure your back is straight and move on till I let go. I feel so. For oh, your engaging your glutes, my muscle connection is important. Then get back up from the lunge and raise one leg. Rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. What was left over I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for. I always thought just to wear the crown. I'm pissed off at these fucking clouds. We were all taught they deserve it now. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. Uh, uh, so true. And then repeat. You can use a resistance band for this exercise too. Your back should not be arch or rounded. Make sure your back is straight. Then do another while lowering your dumbbells. Make sure you keep your back straight. Lunge down. Then back to the middle. Then bring one leg behind you and lunge. Make sure the last few reps should be challenging enough, but you're still able to do it in good form. <laughs> Make sure you engage your core and your glutes here. Keep your back straight and neck neutral. Please pushing your hips back while balancing on your left leg and extending your right leg. Your head to your leg should form a straight line. Do not arch or run your back line. Make sure you engage your core here if you use two. Then back to middle and raise your knee. So last thing I'm doing is a cool down. And then I'll be done. Food out today. Working out for today. Practicing. 
Try to touch your foot with your hand, and if you're not quite flexible, just bring your arms over. Be nice and slow, and don't push it too hard. If it's your knee, have the back leg bent and front leg straight in front of you. You can without hurting yourself. As long as you can. So yeah, that completes my workout. You can see that if you stay consistent, if you keep exercising, it doesn't have to be every day, it doesn't have to be seven days a week, you will see results just like I did. All it takes is just to find the type of exercise that you like to do and that you can stick to, that is fun for you, that you don't dread doing. It's all a matter of making it a habit. So I recommend you also check out Chloe Ting's workout programs if you are looking to get in shape and glow up. I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. It's just, it's great. I feel great. I look great. I'm happy. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any other video suggestions, then let me know in the comments. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching! Bye!